when you need, when you need in Forest Park. Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of The Muni, and I am sitting here in the gazebo with the amazing and fabulous, and you can tell by my expression, I'm very happy that she's here, Phyllis Smith. Me. <laughs> yes. Is she yeah. back there? Because I don't know who you're talking about. So you're here. Yes. So you and I sort of began concocting this like two years ago or so? I, about two years, two ago. years ago. So, So the story is we met each other at the Teen Talent Show yes. here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And instant adoration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just call it right there. But you said one of the greatest things, you know, being a St. Louisan, you said, oh, I'd love to be your Mary Wicks. Wicks. <laughs> which was the greatest thing. So we just did your first tour. We walked around the campus for the Muni. How are you feeling? Oh Tell me. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. I truly am kind of tongue-tied at the moment <laughs> uh, because I've always seen it from the outside mm -hmm. and stood at the uh, the gate for years and years and waited for autographs and to actually walk down the ramp and to go up on the stage it was pretty amazing so well, thank you thank you well thank you <laughs> no. um, so here, a couple questions. Sure. Um, we'll, we'll talk about Muni Nonsense Style in a second, but why don't you share with everybody who's watching your journey from St. Louis to your career? Sort oh of my just gosh, how long is this? I don't know, it's, it's a I'm an old story. But no, I'm an old not, broad. Not, <laughs> no, no. no, I can't say broad, right? No, you can say broad. Okay. Have you read the script? You <laughs> yeah, yeah, broad. yeah, I can say broad. Uh, no. Well, let's see. Um, I was a professional dancer, um, and I ended up in a show, uh, actually a, um, a vaudeville burlesque show, but no stripping, uh, just st strategic, <laughs> strategically placed feathers. And so I ended up on the road for like seven years in that, um, worked with some incredible guys, uh, the Mercer brothers, who yeah. Bud is going to be 100 years old in September. Jim has gone to the comedians in the sky, but um, uh, hopefully he'll be around to help me out with nonsense. Um, and so I ended up going to Los Angeles. Um, we were on the road for about seven years. We went to LA to revamp the show. Um, I ended up getting in an injury as a dancer, and that kind of ended the, change the course. yeah change of course I mean I guess they knew it was time for me to put my tap shoes on the <laughs> on the you know in the closet uh, and uh, that was the way to get me to do it was to uh, you know because dancing was one of those things that if it's your love from the time that you're in the cradle on um, it was really difficult for me to make that decision but my body made it for me and I ended up in casting, um, I don't need to. You know how I ended up in casting? No. Oh, okay. Um, I was working at a, as a receptionist, trying to pay the bills, car insurance, health insurance. You know the whole thing, oh, yeah. rent. And um, a friend of mine said to me, Phyllis, they need a mousy woman for a court show. And I was working at this um, um, in this office, and I had at those days we wore real hose. Yeah. And, I, and I only had an hour for my lunch hour to go do this audition and come back. And I said, I don't want to go. And he goes, get in the car and go. And I said, oh, okay. And so in the haste of trying to get ready for this audition, I not only ripped a, a runner in my hose, the entire knee was out. I mean, I, my hands went like this <laughs> and the entire knee of my hose was out. And so I walked into the casting director's office and I said, excuse me, are you looking for mousy or tacky? And I lifted up my skirt and showed her my, <laughs> my nylon, and she goes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't mousy enough, but in, indeed, I was tacky enough. <laughs> <laughs> Making us proud. Yeah, yeah. And about a year later, uh, she hired me for to be part of her casting. Uh, and I started on the lowest rung. I was in casting for 19 years. Wow. 19 years, long time. And then that led to the office, because you know that story. Yeah, the story is you were working, helping them cast, mm -hmm. and they were so entranced with your reads with the actors, they created the character for you. Correct. That but I didn't know I was being, they auditioned me, and I didn't even have a clue they were yeah. auditioning me. <laughs> the best time. I'm very grateful about. <laughs> <laughs>